Karate is legit. Downside, karate practitioners typically lack skills when it comes to their hands. Which is interesting, considering that the majority of karate is done with your hands. The, the idea that karate is a kicking art is bizarre to me. Because if you look historically at karate, uh, there were maybe five kinds of kicks. Historically, the roundhouse kick was added quite recently, probably the 1930s. Um, if you look at the kata, which are the curriculum of classical karate, you've got front kicks, you've got side kicks, you've got back kicks, and you've got shovel kicks or crescent kicks, which function very similarly. Then there's bow getting which if you watch me do Goju Shiho, that's that thing. The big swinging leg. Although it's, you can use it as an axe kick. Uh, I prefer to use it as a leg reap instead. But yeah, uh, that's not very many kicks. There are knee strikes, but if you look at the curriculum of karate coming from the kata, it's almost all your hands. The kicking stuff got added later mostly from Sabat and Muay Baran, Muay Thai, Muay Chaya. Uh, and yeah, and then Taekwondo added a whole bunch too. The kicking is not actually that big of a thing classically. Jeb Childs, my system of MBR grabs before the kick, so pretty much everything is grappling range. Absolutely. Looking at the kata, the vast majority of kicks are actually done while you're grabbing somebody. Because Karate is meant to happen this close, conversation distance.